got two trophy rocks. It's almost June here in Maryland, so these deer should definitely be needing these minerals to make it through this hot summer. We'll put the recon force edge out first, and then we'll do the spec ops edge. I'm gonna drive down so we don't have to carry both of these trophy rocks down. The one's pretty big, it's a little bit heavy. We'll figure it out though. Right here looks about good. It's humid today. It's like 80, but with the humidity, I'm like soaked. I haven't missed the humidity here. Alright, here's the trophy rocks. Got two of them bad boys. I'm gonna have to get off of here, set these up, set the cameras up, and then I'll turn you back on. All right, guys, I found the little branch. I put the trophy rock on, taking you back on the trail. Show you my stand. Got 20 yards, 20 yards shot from here. But um, it's hard to put corn out this time of year because of the humidity, it'll mold, and we don't have any real like crops to hold the deer on this property. I mean, they got browse and stuff here, but that's about it. They do get acorns, but that's not later on until the acorns start dropping. But um, I'll show you where we're going to mount this camera. Got a little tree branch right there. kind of hard to do this by myself but I leave these mounts here when I get them in a good spot I don't move them so this is definitely a good spot there's dough bedding up on that other side of it. Alright guys I got the recon force edge set up on the stick and pick mount I'm going to turn it on and we're going to do this motion test that I was talking about before where that red light comes on just to make sure we got the trophy rock in frame all I did was I hit mode camera set up Come on down to motion test. Motion test on. Okay, now it's gonna detect us. So we're gonna come back here. Whenever that red light lights up, we know we're good. So let's go over here, make sure where we got this trophy rock is good. So we're, we're getting lit up still. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I can. Red. That was pretty much right where that trophy rock was. So. Still red right there. Sorry guys if it's shaky. I'm trying to. Alright guys, so I was having a little issue with a red light or the camera triggering where I have the trophy rock. So I'm going to take it and angle it that way towards where we walked in at. Because for some reason it's kind of pointed. I think it's angled too far up. So we're going to make that adjustment and see what we can get going here. Alright guys, I moved it. Um, I had the angle way off. See if we got it this time. Alright, we're good. We're good guys. I'm right on it. Let's try it again. We'll step back. I'm right on the trophy rock right there. You can see that that thing's lighting up. Zoom back out. Zoom in, out, whatever. Um, Alright, so we're good. We're going to be back around here. We're going to uh, hit mode, mode, mode. And she's live. We're going to try not to move her at all. We didn't. Make sure we latch her good. And she's ready to go, guys. I can't wait to check her. We'll be back in probably about a week and see what we got. And make adjustments if we need to. And we'll also switch it to video. That way I can show you guys pictures and video. Stay tuned for the footage. Alright guys, welcome back. Today's June 8th. This is our first camera check. We're getting ready to check the Recon Force Edge. We got some rain. 
Um, so we can definitely see how the camera held up to that. It looks like something's been hitting this trophy rock because it rolled off the log that I had it sitting on. Check it out right here. It's a little bit wet. It's been about a little over a week. It's been about, it's been 10 days since we checked the camera. So let's see what's on the Browning Recon Force Edge. Getting, not getting anything here. Let's try turning it off. Okay. All right, can you guys see that? No pictures at all. Okay, we got low battery signal, which is crazy. I put brand new batteries in there. Um, and it's saying 25% battery life. It's only been 10 days. Um, you can see it's set on trail cam and it hasn't taken any pictures. So let's go ahead and take the SD card out and let's see what's going on here. I'm gonna come down here so you guys can see me put an SD card in here. I would recommend getting one of these guys. You can get it from Apple if you have an Apple device, but it's for your iPhone, iPad, whatever you can plug right into your phone and it's an SD card reader and you can take the pictures right off of this card or videos and put it right to your phone so you don't need a computer to check your cameras okay keep it saves you from bringing another SD card out as well all right I'm gonna come to this side so you guys can see what's happening here when I have pictures it usually comes right up not getting anything still nothing guys I'm gonna have to contact Browning on this recon force edge it's not working correctly I don't know if it's just an issue with it from the get-go or the rain got to it but um, I can't get it to, to take pictures so stay tuned I'll let you know the update I'm gonna go ahead and pull this camera though for sure all right guys we're back with a brand new Recon Force Edge. Browning sent this right out to me real quick. I'm gonna turn this one on and take a test picture to make sure we don't have any issues with this one. So I gotta set the trail cam. I'm gonna let it count down and then I'll walk by it and make sure it, it's working properly. I'm going to walk back and forth a couple of times just to make sure it takes a picture. Alright, that should be good. Go up here and check this. Alright, let's try that again. Alright, let's try it now. Alright, good. We're good. We got two pictures. I'm going to show you guys how to check your pictures right on your trail cam. That's what's good about having these viewing screens. You don't have to have like an SD card reader or take it into your computer. Just go to mode, go down to playback. Hmm. Not sun showing me a picture here. Play back. Hmm. 
I'm gonna have to check this in my. I'll put the SD card in the SD card reader, and it's no picture showing up on here whatsoever. We're back out at the Recon Force Edge. Let's see what we got here. Twenty-seven videos. I want to show you guys too. Still at a hundred percent, so that looks good. I want to show you how to check your pictures or videos from the camera. So it's good about having this two-inch viewing screen. Just go to playback. That's all. Us. There we go. Got some deer. If you hit OK, it'll. I get that to focus for you. Play. There's Norman caught in the grass. So that's us walking in. All right. So I had the micro SanDisk 128 gig SD card in. You'll see. I'm going to show it. I'm probably going to show it a little bit earlier in this video. We had issues. I thought it was with the camera, so I contacted Browning. They sent me another camera, but all I did was switch the SD card. It's the same brand. It's a SanDisk, but it's just not the micro one. It's just a regular size SD card and the camera seems to be working fine. So if you run into this issue, it's just a quick fix. Just change your SD card and that'll take care of the problem. You don't need a new camera or anything like that. But I actually took the same SD card in the pack that I had issues with this camera. So I did try two different SD cards, but that didn't fix the issue because it was the same, you know, that micro saying this 128 gig. We got some rain coming if you can hear it, but I'm happy with, you know, that, that the camera's operating good now. It has been through a couple rains. So we actually put the second camera Browning sent, we put it in the creek bottom. So we're going to go check that camera and we put that one on picture mode and this one was video mode. So I'll drop all the videos from this location into this video so you guys can get a good look at them yeah so not a big a deal as i thought um the camera's working fine it's something for you guys to be aware of so just keep that in the back of your mind all right we're gonna go check the other uh recon force edge so real quick i'm gonna pull this sd card and i'm gonna put it into the sd card reader that i have and i'm gonna show you guys too like you don't need to carry two sd cards you can just dump them right off the sd card reader right to your phone so Hang on, I'm gonna flip you around and show you that. This is the SD card reader that I have. It's from Apple. I mean, it'll work in your iPhone or your iPad. And you just take, put your SD card right in there like that. And then I'm gonna turn around, get your phone. And then you plug it right into where you charge your phone at. And then it'll automatically come up if you got pictures or videos and if it doesn't it'll usually take you right into your pictures I'm gonna give it a sec if it doesn't I'll show you how to do it just open up your photos right down here it says import just hit that and that'll bring all your pictures and videos up and you can select different ones if you want to import just certain pics or videos I'm gonna import all and that's just dumping it right on your phone and the message is gonna come up whether I want to keep the images on the SD card or delete them. I'm going to delete them. That way the SD card is completely free. It usually don't take long, but video takes a little bit longer. Depending on how much stuff you got on it. Alright, there it is. Would you like to delete imported media from the attached camera? I'm going to delete it. It's not going to delete it off your phone, just off the card. So you want to go back to photos. That's us walking in today just now that's pretty cool because you can go nice big dough there now here's some pictures I think when we were testing it 
Yeah, so it's, it's taking pics and videos just fine. Um, all right, we'll take this out. We're gonna put the SD card back in. We're just gonna leave this one right on video. I always too, I don't know if it matters. I always go to um, delete all, just to make sure they're off of the card. But all right, we're gonna, this one's live. We're gonna, we got the 30 seconds to get out of here. Everything looks good. We're gonna close her up and go down to the second recon force edge. We're back at the second recon force edge. We have this one on trail cam mode. I just wanna show you guys real quick. There's the trail cam right there on that tree. Here's the creek. They've been using this heavy. You can see that's all torn up from them crossing. So hopefully we got some really cool shots. I hope we got some on here. But here we go down the creek. Hopefully we don't fall here. Yeah, give me a sec. This one's a little lower, so it's easy, easier for me to film and show you guys. Hey, we got a lot. 158 pictures. All right, so we got 158 pictures. Let me flip you around. And get you see some of these pictures raccoon there's a fawn fawn and a mom and a big doe and the doe drinking that was pretty cool got a fox on here Alright guys, so everything looks good. 100% uh, I'm gonna turn this off, dump the pictures, and then we'll turn it back on. I had a little issue with sometimes when you hit mode to get the live screen, it don't come up. If you have that issue, just turn it off and turn it back on. It should be fine. Alright guys, I just dumped all the pictures from the camera onto my phone. So I'll drop them all in the video so you guys can see them. I'm gonna leave this one on trail cam mode because I just have regular door cell batteries I don't have the lithium ones in there the energizer so I don't want it to die um, I'm gonna have to switch them out but I wanted to test this camera because this was the first one I had the issues with the SD card that I just went over but it hasn't really even been out here quite a week yet so I want to try to get some bucks on here crossing this creek so we're just gonna leave it run at least another week um, but yeah, I'm going to turn it on. We're going to go check the Spec Ops Edge next. So if you guys haven't checked out that video, I'll link it in the video description. And I'll put it up top. Make sure you guys check that one out too. Uh, stay tuned.
This is a family owned property. It's 20 acres that I hunt here in Maryland. Just want to get you guys a little bit familiar, tell you a little bit about the property. Um, this first spot is a creek bottom. Um, I have three stands up. I don't want to get blabbing because when I talk about hunting, man, we'll be here all day. But this first spot we're going to go to is kind of is a funnel and it kind of pushes deer this way especially during a rut so um, we have some awesome properties around this property even though it's small though it's in a good spot especially for a rut but we'll see what we get i'm gonna put these trophy rocks out if we don't get a lot of footage um i'll have to run them longer just to make sure we got enough to show you guys what these cameras are capable of so um, bear with me on that but we'll see what happens we should be fine now I don't remember putting the trophy rocks out this early in the season, but this is when you should be putting them out. Spring and the summer, it helps the deer get through the hot summers and gives them nutrients and minerals and stuff that, um, that they need. So it is recommended though to put these trophy rocks near water. Alright guys, I'm going to show you how to update the software on uh, the Browning Recon Force Edge. Some of the videos it was making like a popping sound when the camera was triggered. In the beginning you'll hear it in my video. It wasn't all of them, but anyway, it's good to check this anyway. I typed in Browning Firmware Update and it's browningtrailcameras.zendesk.com. Just click on that. 2020 software upgrades um, it'll show you here the recon force edge and the spec ops edge it'll give you the model numbers we're doing a recon force edge so it's going to be the btc7e okay and then you're going to go down here btc7e software upgrade download go here um, and then you just click it and drag it I already have it done um, We'll just leave this one, but I just wanted to show you guys. And then you can go right here to the um, Recon Force Edge step-by-step -step instructions, and it'll give you the latest software version on your BTC7E. So I'm gonna go ahead and power on, and then I'm gonna go to, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to check the firmware, okay? So we're gonna go firmware upgrade and that's the software I have on here so it's already outdated so what we're going to do is I'm going to power this off I'm going to take my SD card out I'm going to put it in the computer and we're going to download it'll give you directions guys right here step one make sure the model number is right download the file from the link we just did that and then we got to place that file on the SD card I'm going to click it drag it right to the SD card. It's that simple. Eject the SD card, take it back out, insert the SD card into the Recon Force Edge, his SD card slot, um, power it on, but don't allow the camera to take a picture or anything. We'll go ahead and press E, enter at the camera setup screen, use the up and down arrow like I showed you. Alright guys, so we're going to go down to the firmware upgrade, camera setup, firmware upgrade, hit OK, firmware upgrade, we're going to hit yes, okay, now it's, it's going to upgrade, it'll take about 30 seconds, and it'll say finished, and then we'll have the newest software on this Recon Force Edge, and we won't have that popping noise anymore when, it, when it's on video and the camera's triggered, okay. And then I'll show you too, once that's done, we'll check and make sure we got the right software um, and we'll match this number right here. But I'm real important too, guys, it's going to reset the camera to factory settings. So you have to go to set the time and date and it'll restart 
and it, it put the um the new firmware on it and we'll just go same thing camera setup and then there you go guys all right ko4290e all right um i just wanted to show you guys that real quick and in case i i, I did a couple of these videos on the browning so i forget which one but i left this bottom part out and ca camera setup and after sd management it's got the language you can change okay it's got a couple different languages there capture timer you can put on if you want the camera just to take shots at certain times and then i just showed you the firmware upgrade all right guys thanks all right guys let's talk about the recon force edge we're finally getting to this outro if you made it this far you're a trooper thanks for hanging in there let's start with and i wanted to let you guys know that this is not a paid promotion i was not paid in any way to do this video let's go ahead and start with the sd card issue that i had guys i had the same issue across the board for all of the 2020 models that i reviewed from the browning trail cam lineup and i'll link down in the video description below the card that works for me that way you guys don't have the same issues um, i'm not sure what the exact issue is because i've used the same sd cards in my previous browning trail cams and i didn't have that issue so i'm not exactly sure what it is but um, i did figure it out it was a quick sd card change and no issues after that so like i went over before what you're going to experience if you have an sd card issue is not going to write the footage or the pictures to the sd card and it's going to kill the batteries very quick so that's something to look out for if you have that issue it kind of is a red flag on what's going on browning's customer service is excellent guys they sent me a replacement camera right away i thought the unit had got wet but it wasn't it was luckily i was able to troubleshoot myself and I just switched the SD card. I had one laying around and it worked just fine. Okay, so, you know, these things happen. It's, it's not a huge deal, um, but it's something to be aware of. You get a one year warranty when you purchase the camera through Browning. And like I said, their customer service is excellent. They've always done the right thing when I've had an issue and they've always gotten a camera out to me right away, guys. There's a ton of other trail cameras out on the market guys but browning this this recon force edge is an awesome beginner camera guys it's very user friendly i would definitely recommend it to pretty much anybody it takes really good video and it takes good pictures as well so if you're in the market for one i would definitely recommend the recon force edge when i was transferring from the sd card to my sd card reader to my iphone i did get a couple like red exclamation points where some of the files didn't transfer it wasn't many but i would recommend just swapping sd cards guys i kind of do the sd card reader out in the field because it's quicker and convenient for me but um, i have noticed that can cause some issues so um, i would just have a backup sd card and just swap them out each time all right thanks for hanging in there guys i know this was a long one um, it just takes that much time for me to do the best job that i can for you guys so give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more Browning trail cam reviews. Drop a comment down below. Let me know if this video helped you guys make the decision to go ahead and pick one of these Browning Recon Force Edges up. Hit that notification bell too, guys, so you get all my new content first. Please share this video. It really helps everybody out. Smash that subscribe button down for me if you haven't subbed to the channel. You have officially been outdoored.